نعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم جمعہ مبارک this is going to be quick I posted something yesterday I don't understand if you get an authentic hadith from the authentic hadith book Sahib Bukhari and Muslim and you see that Abu Bakr disrespected the prophet family he disrespected his daughter he did not give her an inheritance he stole from her the prophet gave that to Fatima while he was alive as soon as he leaves the earth they take it from her and don't care a little while after that they burn and kick down her door she died from those injuries her and the unborn child but still y'all follow Abu Bakr he gets all of the praises I don't understand this can we please stop ignoring the facts in Islamic history I don't care if you Sunni Shia Ahmadiyya Nation of Islam whatever you claim to be Wahhabi Salafi whatever Stop ignoring the facts. You will be judged on it. You know, you can dress up all you want. You go to Juma every Friday. You go to the Kaaba every Friday, man. It don't matter. If you do not understand the tragedies and the oppression that was put on the Holy Prophet's family after he left the earth, then you're no different from the tyrants. Change your last name to Bush or Trump. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. It's in the books. Stop calling us names. Stop saying these things about the people who follow the Ahlul Bayt and look into it. Because most of these people who follow the Ahlul Bayt know your ideology better than their own and yours. Sadly, but that's the truth. Y'all got to stop doing that, man. It's getting ridiculous. Y'all just overlook it. It's sad. And the day of judgment is coming. We will be held accountable for these things. This is very, very serious. If you take it lightly, like I was talking to this brother on Lions Ave last week, and I mentioned this event, and I said the prophet's daughter died angry with Abu Bakr. This man asked me about my wife. Don't your wife get mad at you? How are you going to compare my wife to Fatima Zahra? How are you going to compare any of these women on Facebook or anywhere you see to the prophet's daughter? They don't even reach her deaths. You got to be kidding me. Learn your history. Then you'll have more respect for her. It's sad. Y'all got more respect for Aisha than the prophet's daughter. And Aisha was disrespectful. No offense, but she was disrespectful. Point blank, period. The prophet's daughter, she's the queen of the women of the world of, and paradise. Her children, Hassan and Hussein, are imams. Masoom imams. Her husband is a masoom imam who did great things, who are the custodians of the earth. Please learn your history. It's starting to be like sad, man. You're not following Islam if you don't know this. You can dress it, hijab up, thob up, all of that. It doesn't matter. That doesn't make you a mumin. You'll be Muslim, but we trying to die mumins. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.